Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Papa Bell from over to the channel. We're looking at this piece of junk right here. This is my first successful motor that I ever built. Uh, I got videos of it when I played them. And it's great. You know, I changed the number of magnets on it a hundred times. Uh, right now there's 12 on here. And I'm using one of my uh, transformers. So I don't know, I'm pumping out some some amount higher than what's coming off of the power supply. So. So I'm going to try to time them. So like if this was your timer, like something your timer, like it fits right in the middle there. You mean it's like a directional push? No, it's a spacer. Okay, got it. But I, I, I sense like a tremendous amount of... See this switch? The switches, they stick, especially when there's so much more voltage going through. Yeah, you can see it. Let's see if we can watch it stick. That's the way we want to go. We want to be spinning this way. But I think when the high frequency switches get here, and I figure out how to hook them up without burning, burning them up so fast, uh, we're gonna we're gonna see some. some you know, once it hits 88 miles an hour, we're going to see some serious shit. Because <laughs> we're going to get it go now. I mean, here we go. This is kind of what I'm interested in right here. And then look at the vibration in the switch. Yeah, that's a lot of motion. And the copper snaps sometimes. Yep. That's all good because the screw is magnetic. And then you're going into the suck thing. Right in the magnets. Alright. But that's awesome. That, that's the kind of speed that I'm looking for. That was just a little tilt. A little tilt and then I stabilized it so it's not shaking as much. I'm not leaning, leaning it forward a little bit. So when I said the, the rectangle magnets that are on there can be put on the side to the coast. You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, stop it because it, it was going in the beginning of the video. We gotta show those magnets. Alright, I'm cutting the ball. Right. Gotta be up to 10 volts for it to even turn on anymore. So I gotta transform it up. And that was, yeah, I didn't even see that was up at 10. And then when it goes to 10, that's when the sparks start flying here. Yeah, because the transformer turns on and then you know, all the power just. Bit. Yeah, that's a nice spin. It's got 12 magnets on it, so it hits more often than the nine. See, with these these magnets, uh, oh man, I'm gonna need both of my hands for this.
the the uh, the struggle. Yeah, well, he's gonna go to one side, but I mean. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Like a permanent magnet motor situation. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I think it'll do this way too. Oh no, not so much. All right, so that's basically what I wanted to show you. That they'll, they'll turn on their side, and then I can like put some. I don't know. It change, yeah. It probably changes the whole, yeah, the whole field when you do that. Changes the direction of the field. Changes <coughs> a lot. All right, so. Here we are. Peace out. Have a good night. Thanks for tuning in. This thing is awesome. Have a good night. Bye now.